All right guys, what's up YouTube? So I am actually on my lunch break right now and I kind of want to do a different kind of video today. I usually do vlogs and I usually have a pretty sick intro, but because I'm really short in time today and there's a lot of things I'm doing here at work I gotta get done, I'm gonna go ahead and just do a regular Q&A today. So what I did is I actually went on my Instagram and on the story, I told people that I'm gonna go ahead and do a Q&A today. So if you wanna be on my next Q&A video, which I'm doing every single week, make sure you add me on IG and you you follow me on there and get ready for my next one next week. I'm gonna try to go through this kind of quickly. So let's go ahead and go through this right now. So Zach Codes asked me this first question. He asked, how to overcome procrastination while learning to code? Very good question. I think procrastinating is something that we all do, something I still do even today. But at the end of the day, I think you have to understand that it's okay to procrastinate, but also not all the time though. When you think about it, what you're doing right now is it slowing you down from reaching your dreams or is it speeding it up? Or is it keeping you on track, right? If you think about it right now, is there anything that you're doing in your life right now that's actually slowing you down from achieving your dream of becoming a developer? And if you know that, if you really just think about it, what is it? How much are you willing to sacrifice that for just maybe a year or so just to at least achieve your dreams? I'll tell you this, I used to game a lot. I was a hardcore gamer, man. I gamed all the time, right? But the thing is though, right? For me to achieve what I wanted, I had to throw all of that away. I had to stop gaming, I had to stop doing all those things, right? And actually working out was one of them. Now I'm back on it. But when I finally got to my second developer job at the, like, this dream company that I love working out with right now, now I game a little bit more than I used to. I relax a little bit more used to. I watch more TV than I used to. I used to watch no TV at all, right? And so when you think about it, you're not sacrificing the things that you love to do for too long, but only temporarily until you get there, right? Hajar Sen asked, if I can HTML and CSS and JavaScript, how can you find a job by going to craigslist.com by going to monster.com indie.com but it's more than just applying you have to be able to prove the skill that you have and can you get the job done too right are you able to create complicated things or are you able to problem solve and etc because i'll tell you this man majority of what i do at work is problem solving when a bug comes up or i'm trying to create something or there's a new function that needs to be created or there's a function that's actually messing up what we need something else to do you have to find a way to code around that and that's not easy it, like even today i'm kind i'm behind on some projects and I'm behind because I need to get better at what I do and it's frustrating but I still love it because like yesterday I was working something for a couple of hours and I finally fixed it and it was the best feeling in the world and so more than anything again it's just showing that you can problem solve and you have to be able to showcase your skill all right next question Chris I find it difficult sometimes to concentrate in order to learn coding any advice again look at how bad you want it man uh, do you really want it well, what are you willing to sacrifice to get there? And if you're not willing to sacrifice anything, then I'm sorry, you're, not, you're never gonna get there. You have to be willing to know what it is that's slowing you down and overcome that to get to where you wanna be. Um, okay, next question. Is coding hard to learn from Oasis? Oasis? Yes and no. Yes, it's hard to learn at first, but no, because it gets easier in time. But again, it's also still hard because you're facing new challenges every day. But again, it depends on how you see it because I love it. It's different for me. Memo USAMA asks, what are the main things you have to master to become a front-end developer? I'll tell you this, you will not master anything. You won't. Um, the languages are always changing and evolving. And more than anything, what is it you need to master? It's what you need to be proficient at and what it is that you need to be able to at least have a strong foundation so that when a company hires you, they don't just hire you for what you can do, but they also hire you because of what you can possibly do. Uh, what you can what they assume that you should be able to do. Yeah, a lot of times when you first become a developer, your company knows what you lack in, but they look at, oh, maybe you can do this. Maybe you can learn this language. Maybe you could eventually build this strong problem solving skill and etc. And so more than just mastering, man, um, you can't master something. It's just being able to work hard. To be a front-end developer, to get the basics down, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, jQuery, and maybe React to JS is huge. And that's something that a lot of companies are looking for or a front-end JavaScript framework maybe you know VJS if not a, a, a VJS a library or the, the framework angular JS as well okay nice questions man all right so Johnny juice box <laughs> funny name was asking how important is it to use a MacBook instead of a Windows computer when learning your code it doesn't matter man you can use a PC you can use a win uh, you can use a Mac or you can use a PC that's totally up to you it's all preference is the keyboard review release oh so if you've been following me on IG on my noticing on my recent YouTube videos I have a keyboard board with no like 
fonts or letters or text on it whatsoever it's because that's actually a sponsored keyboard that someone gave me that keyboard is actually kind of pricey but I'll tell you this I had a $200 razor keyboard I stopped using that because I prefer this smaller programming friendly keyboard instead so I'll go ahead and talk about that soon Simon oh this is a nice question man Simon underscore bow or bow he's asking what is it like to finally afford the things you want since you're not getting paid and do you invest dude this is a really good question this is a question actually I like the most to be honest um, yeah it's crazy to be honest um just two years ago I mean I remember that's why I bought these both headphones I bought these both headphones I bought these both headphones because I remember there's a time when I couldn't even afford like cheap $25 headphones right I remember there was a time when I couldn't afford just eating out at a restaurant and it's crazy because when you become a developer particularly now my second job where i get paid more and have a uh, youtube channel that's actually paying pretty well too so that on top of my coding salary is kind of insane but it, it's what's it like to finally afford the things it's i don't think i'm better than anyone i just feel much more gratitude um i'm humbled and it's crazy to be able to go out and not even have to look at the prices in the menu, right? Not that that's a smart thing, I'm just saying like, those small things, being able to get a actually good haircut from a good barber is crazy. When my car broke down, right, there were things wrong, my bell was about to break, to fix my car it cost about $350. I remember two years ago, when something like that happened, I wouldn't even pay for it. I was just like, all right, hopefully my car survives a little bit longer. But now these, those small things that I'm able to afford, those things like, I don't ever want to take that for granted and actually when I talk to my girlfriend I tell her about this stuff but it's true I just I can't believe I am where I am at because two years ago I wasn't here I was struggling like crazy and now I'm not and so it's it's I feel more freedom I feel free and I feel like I'm doing something finally and I could help my family too when my family's struggling they ask me for help and I'm like all right mom here I'll send you the money Apple pay right it's crazy that I can do this I never thought I would be able to but now I am why because of the hard work I put in so all the hard work man all that sacrifice it is definitely worth it in the end what's your typical day schedule daily schedule look like working as a developer my typical daily schedule I come in I look at some blogs or maybe I'll listen to some music or I'll watch one or two YouTube videos just to get my mind ready, right? Listen, watch some videos on code or something like that, right? And um, I'll go in and I'll get my coffee and I'll read all my emails. That's what I usually do, read all the emails, look at your to-do list, what needs to get done. I'll look at the due dates and the projects I'm working on. Are there any new projects I could get done right now? Let's get it done quickly to get that off my plate. Uh, and what I'm literally doing is I'm making either new pages or I'm updating the style or updating the functions on current pages. Pages. If not that, I'm making emails and I'm um, doing many different things I've never done before and, and it's a whole new world. The code base is huge um, and I'm literally just problem solving all day while having a, like, maybe I have like YouTube videos on, on like playing music in the background the whole day. Um, yeah, it's literally my schedule. I take an hour lunch. I go on my lunch breaks. I go to the gym and I work out every lunch break. You can ask Jesse. I'm not lying. Um, other than that, um, yeah, man, I go home and just repeat the next the whole week <laughs> that's literally my day uh but i again i love what i do because the the management here at this company is amazing i like uh, i love where i work man i love where i work okay i gotta keep going ad1 malik is asking how many hours did you learn code a day before getting a job three hours a day three hours a minimum if not a little bit more that's what i did every day good question man why do i cover my code on my videos like i blur it out because it's company code i can't show it i'll get in trouble but I, I got permission as long as i blur it out so that's why i do what i do favorite snacks um bananas dogs or cats neither i'm allergic to both <laughs> um and a year from now do you think you will land a machine learning job no because no, I just, I'm just, I'm studying it because I'm just intrigued by it. That's pretty much it. Okay, um, all right, last question. There was a really good one that I scrolled over. I want to answer really quick. How do I stay so motivated? And this is huge. Um, how I stay motivated, um, I look at where it is that I want to be. I look at this, I look at what my, my goals are, right? Which is to take care of my family. Um, which is to own my own, have my own place like an apartment or something, eventually a house or a condo. Take care of my future wife and kids, right? But how do I get there? I have to have a good, stable job and get paid well, good benefits. But the thing is, right, what is it that motivates me is that I know I'm not there yet. I know I'm, I love where I work now, 
and I'm gonna work here for a while, to be honest. Um, but what I mean is that as a developer, I want to get better. I want to be someone who's in demand. When you hear your, your boss talk about someone who's really good and how much they would love that person to come back to a company or et cetera, those things are like, wow, like it makes you think developers are really valuable and needed today. And that is my goal. I, my, what keeps me motivated is that I'm not nearly where I want to be. I'm not even close to as good as I want to be. I feel, I still feel, what do you call that? I still feel imposter syndrome every single day, every day, especially this week, man, and last week. But what pushes me is that I'm not where I want to be yet. I want to get there. And you have to find that why. Like, why are you doing what you do? I don't want to be poor again. I don't want to go hungry again. I don't want to not be able to take care of my health and buy the expensive medicine I need when I need it again, right? I, I don't want to stay stuck in a situation when my family needs help, I can't help them. I don't want to go back. And I want to keep going further. And that is why I do what I do. And more than anything, out of all the people in the world, I shouldn't be where I am. I was in special ed. I almost dropped out of high school. I dropped out of college. I screwed up my whole life for the last 30 years or 28 years, right? Now 30. And I don't wanna, I, I, I know that I don't deserve to be here and I'm lucky and I'm thankful. And that's just, that is what pushes me to work as hard as I do every day. But anyways, man, I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. <laughs> I hope you guys like this Q&A session. It is getting hot now. Oh my gosh. Um, one last thing too, but if you made it to the end, please let me know. But other than that, man, there's actually a membership thing on my channel. I'll put a link in the description below that you can join and help sponsor this channel and it'll help really give me a lot of support. It's only $5 a month if you can. If not, it's all good. But if you join, I'm actually gonna do a special live video Q&A for only members that, that actually are in the membership. So anyways, I'm gonna end the video here, guys. Thank you for watching. This is Krishan. Life Web Developer, new vlog coming out soon. I'm out. Peace.